Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So in the in the previous episode, we talked about uh, how to install Omnichannel Channel as a trial, Omnichannel Channel for customer service. And in this video, we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to go through some basic setup, and that's going to uh, prepare us for a very simple demo where we're going to do a simple chat widget, and then we'll build a, uh, on top of that chat widget and um, add more and more functionality. So you can see how this may be used in a real world scenario, right? So um, basically the first thing we wanna do is set up our users so that they have access to Omnichannel. So if we go to, um, let's go to this first tab here. So this actually defaulted from the previous video to the uh, customer service workspace. And we showed, uh, we kind of talked through very briefly about these apps that get installed. And uh, we spoke about the, uh, there's two admin apps that get installed. One's the Omnichannel Admin Center, which is a simplified admin app with a live chat demo. Um, we have the Omnichannel Administrator app. Both of those are used to uh, administer Omnichannel. So if you're an admin, you would go into either one of those and play around with the features of Omnichannel. And then we have the Omnichannel for Customer Service app. So this is the one that agents actually use when they are chatting with customers, okay? So let's go ahead and click into the uh, agent app and we can cl click leave here. And I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like if I didn't do anything, right? So as an administrator, uh, we haven't set up any users yet, but if we consider the scenario where um, an agent uh, is using this application and the administrator is one of the agents, let's say, um, what we can see here, if you look on the top right, uh, you can see this this icon here that's spinning, right? So it's trying to it's going to load the presence. Um, we'll take a look at this, and we'll see that it's spinning. And this is this happens every time that an agent opens the actual uh, Omnichannel uh, for customer service app in a browser, right? It's going to go off. It's going to go off and try to uh, grab the uh, latest uh, configuration from Omnichannel and then do the uh, set up its, its presence so that uh, when you're using the application, Omnichannel knows that, uh, you know, how many calls, how many chats you have going on and that type of thing. So it's getting the presences ready here. And we see here that we have a uh, green uh, checkbox in the right that says we're available. So we're in the available status. And then also it's asking us to, uh, uh, for certain permissions on the browser here. So I'm going to click allow this one saying uh, to use the microphone. We're going to say, sure, yep, let's do that. And then uh, that's basically all we have to click there, okay? Okay, so in some cases, you may not uh, get this green checkbox. And the reason why is because you may not be actually set up as an omnichannel user, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. Um, and so you'll want to do this, obviously, if you want to give other people access to your uh, organization and want them to play around with Omnichannel and uh, or obviously in a production environment, if you want your real agents to uh, have access to Omnichannel to that app um, and to be able to get a presence. Right. So the way to do that is uh, back here in the admin center, we're going to click on settings and we'll wait for that to load. And then let's expand users and permissions and we'll go down here and click on users and let's go and manage users in D365. Um, find that sometimes when you're using the uh, trials, you actually don't get the full functionality of the uh, admin center. But uh, yeah, sometimes you have to hop back and forth between the old way of doing things and the new way, right? Okay, and then finally, this is gonna open here. Uh, sometimes it takes a really long time, so you just kind of have to be patient. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, this is gonna default to the Omnichannel users here. And you can see here that it's, uh, as I'm the uh, administrator of the system, it's already added me. So if we click on uh, manage roles here, let's just scroll down and see what roles I have. So when this opens, we can see here, if we scroll down, uh, we have some, uh, roles already assigned, but the interesting ones for us is going to be the omnichannel ones. So the ones that start with omnichannel. So we're going to see here the omnichannel administrator role. Um, so that's going to get you access to the admin apps and perform administrative functions. Then you have the uh, omnichannel agent, and that one's going to give you access to the 
Omnichannel for the 365, uh, well, it's called the Omnichannel for Customer Service app. So that's that one um, that will give you uh, the ability to uh, interact with customers, basically. And then the Omnichannel Supervisor app, and that one is for supervisors who are basically monitoring uh, what's happening when agents are chatting with, with customers. Okay, so they, they'll be able to see the number of ongoing conversations and uh, they'll be able to monitor conversations, transfer agents, uh, calls and that kind of thing, okay? So um, that's those are the three main roles in Omnichannel and this, this person has all three, uh, myself. So I'm gonna just cancel out of this. And so if you wanna assign this to other users, all you need to do is um, basically select the users and assign whichever of those three roles um, you need to. So I'm gonna go through uh, the agent and supervisor experience in uh, uh, in a uh, video coming up. All right. So those are the three roles. Now let's go back over here and now let's go back over here and let's take a look at the uh, admin app. So I'm going to go back into here and we'll take a look at each of these individually. So let's start off with the on channel admin center app here and click leave. And we can see here, this is a uh, nice little app. It says, get started with our live demos and then uh, launch with sample data, open a, a, uh, a demo chat here and we have a voice demo as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just X out of this. Uh, but basically you can see here along the left, we have where you can manage users of the system, um, the, the queues for Omnichannel, work streams, phone numbers, channels, record routing. Uh, so all these army channel concepts that we're going to be talking about later, okay? Um, same th same thing with the advanced settings. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we can configure here. Uh, it's a pretty deep application, and they keep adding more functionality to it um, as as time goes on. So it's very cool, okay? So that's the admin center app, and then if we go over here to the administration app, um, it's going to look very similar, and and we can see here, we have the channels down the left here, and we have users and queues and skills and uh, bots and work streams and agent experience, supervisor experience. I find this app a little bit easier to use, um, but you know, we'll see which direction Microsoft really guides us. It seems that they're trying to kind of push the uh, the first app I showed a little bit more, but um, you know, kind of. Depends on your preference, I guess, at this point, but we'll probably, you know, maybe we'll see one of these apps phase out in the future, right? Um, but I kind of like the the way, the the logical way this one's structured, uh, but there's obviously a case to be made that the uh, Admin Center app, the other app is also maybe a little bit more user-friendly as well. So what I want to show you as well is the, uh, the users, right? So as I mentioned, uh, my user was automatically added and and we were given the three roles. Now, if we go into users here, we'll be able to see uh, any users that have any of those roles in the system, okay? So the idea being that the administrator can easily go into the Omnichannel app, see who is an Omnichannel uh, user of any kind, and then they can go and manage those users, right? So we can see here that there's these, uh, really it's myself that's the user, and then we have, um, some other uh, background users here. We have a PVA, Power Virtual Agents uh, trial um, and something else up here. But this is this is the only user that we have set up so far. It's myself. So if I click into this, um, we're gonna see that this is basically the user record in the system, right? This is gonna look familiar, uh, you know, if you manage users in any of the other applications. But here is the interesting thing. We have this Omnichannel tab, right? So if we click into this tab, um, what we have here is a whole bunch of Omnichannel stuff that we will need to administer, okay? Now, one of the key things here is this capacity, and we have a default presence, and the capacity is defaulted here to 100. Um, capacity is basically uh, how many calls or chats or, you know, digital messaging channel experiences you can 
uh, deal with at a given point in time, okay? Um, we'll, we'll talk about this later, but basically, uh, let's say you're, uh, you have a, a very simple chat set up. So, you know, a, a typical chat, which is on a website, um, a, a, one of your customers goes to your website and the chat pops up and it says, hi, how can I help you, right? And the, the customer starts chatting. Um, you know, as an agent, this number here tells you how many of those you can have concurrently at a time. Because uh, basically the idea is that if you're a omnichannel agent and you're dealing with uh, chats from a website, you may be actually handling multiple chats at once, right? So you could have uh, 20 people on your website uh, chatting and you might decide that um, as an like each each of your omnichannel agents can handle, let's say five chats at once. And then you might decide, well, okay, if uh, let, let's say each chat of each one of these chats is worth a number uh, called 20, right? And you can give this number whatever you want, but let's say it's like a waiting, right? So if you have a waiting of 20 uh, for any given chat, and then if you uh, have five customers at once, then that total waiting is a uh, hundred, right? Because it's five times 20. And then the, we're saying here that the total capacity is 100, right? So that's kind of one way to explain how the capacity works and how many chats you might be able to handle uh, as an agent at a time. And, you know, if you're like a really good agent and you could handle, let's say you can handle uh, 20 uh, chats at a time, right? So then you would do 20 times 20 and that becomes 400 here, right? So you can change the capacity however you want based on uh, maybe the skill levels of the agents and, and experience and that kind of thing. So one, one note here is when you add uh, users to Omnichannel, this is actually blank. So you need to come into the record and uh, when you come in, it'll default it here and then you know, change this number to whatever you think is appropriate and um, and then go ahead and click save and then that user will be, uh, will will have a capacity assigned. So if you don't do that, the, the capacity is probably gonna be blank and they may actually run into an error when they open up the agent application, the Omnichannel for Customer Service app, okay. Um, and then the other thing is, yeah, the default presence. So when they sign in, the first thing They'll, the first presence they'll be assigned is uh, this one, the available presence. Um, there's other presences that we'll get into as well, but uh, that, that this one very obviously means that the agent is available and uh, ready to receive incoming chats from the customers. The other couple of things here is the omnichannel queues. Uh, so this is basically the queues that this user has access to. And then we have the skills configuration and this is uh, very good for when skills come into play, if certain chats come in and they are uh, tagged with certain skills uh, that a particular agent has uh, strength in, then we know that we can route these particular chats to uh, particular agents that have this subject matter expertise, right? So we'll go through how to actually set that up when these chats come in, how, how chats get routed uh, to the right people that can deal with uh, the, the customer, right? Really important stuff. So that's omni-channel uh, user setup. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll continue with the next video on uh, how to set up a simple chat next. Thanks. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.